In this video, we will be covering the file locking feature. File locking allows users to place locks on files or folders, and even team shares, thereby preventing other users from making changes to those resources, while still allowing the user who placed the lock to edit them. This feature works great for highly collaborative teams that work on the same documents since it prevents users from accidentally overwriting each other's changes. Also, because entire team shares can be locked, you can essentially lock a team share, subscribe users to it, and use it as a one-way broadcast of data to a team. Locks can be placed or removed either from the desktop sync client or from the web. This is simply done by right-clicking the resource you wish to lock. Once the lock is placed, the locked file or folder will get an overlay icon indicating that the lock is indeed in place. Locks are enforced everywhere, including the desktop sync client, the web interface, mobile devices, and web dev. If a user attempts to make a change to a locked file on the desktop client, for example, the file will receive an exclamation overlay indicating that the change could not go up. Also, a SysTray notification will appear indicating that the document could not go up because the file was locked. Once the lock is removed by the user who placed it, the changes made by other users will automatically sync up if no additional changes had been made to the locked file. If the changes made by other users were preceded by a change made by the user who placed the lock, then the user with their own local changes, the offending user, will have to figure out what they want to do with their local changes, either create a new file with their changes, discard their changes, or otherwise. On the desktop sync client, you can place locks with a timer so that the lock will expire after a certain amount of time. Keep in mind that administrators can remove locks regardless of who placed them, just in case a user places a lock and then loses access to the system or goes offline. Administrators must keep in mind that file locking is disabled by default and must be enabled per organization by going to Settings, Policies, and enabling the Allow Users to Lock Files checkbox in the user settings category. There's an additional field beneath this option that allows admins to specify specific extensions that they would like to use file system permissions in order to enforce the lock. By default, common file extensions are specified and when a lock is placed, the desktop sync client will actually change the file system permissions on the file we manipulate NTFS permissions on Windows and HFS Plus permissions on Mac for these specific extensions in order to prevent changes by other users in a much stricter way. Not only does it make for stronger enforcement of the lock, but it is also necessary for environments where the sync client has been installed on a file server that users access via a network map drive. In essence, if you're using file server enablement, and you plan on supporting locking, you're going to want to specify the extensions that you would like this harder lock enforcement on so that users who are accessing the data via map drive are notified by the file system itself that the lock was placed and the file cannot be modified. One additional feature that administrators can enable is the option to present users who open a Word or Excel document in a team share with the option of locking the file. Therefore, when users open a document, they will be prompted as to whether or not they would like to lock or not lock the document and what they would like future behavior of this dialog to do. That covers it for the file locking feature.